Hi, you are listening to Everyday Superpower, the place where you learn about body language, non-verbal communication and everything in between, okay? Uh, I recommend you hold on tight as this channel is where you'll learn how to read people and excel in your life, alright? We keep it plain and simple, I tell you the insides and outs, you perceive it in real life, you apply it to your life and we go from there, so... What we're looking at today is the hands on hips gesture, okay? One may call it the arms akimbo, okay? Pot with two handles potentially, alright? Superman, Wonder Woman, perceive it in whichever way you want and we'll go into the details regarding this. So the hands are placed on the hips and the elbows flare out, okay? So... This, first and foremost, is a... Well, let me ask you, where do you see this behavior? Where do you see it and uh, who do you attribute it to? Because I'm sure you see this and I'm sure you've seen this on people. Do you do this behavior? So what you're doing by engaging in this behavior is you are creating yourself larger. You are taking up more space, so that is a territorial behavior. For one to take up more space is for one to appear more dominant. So it's a non-verbal way of enhancing one's dominance, okay? To take up more space, be more expansive with one's posture, all right? Could be perceived as aggressive. It's masculine. It makes the body appear larger, so increases the perception of dominance, okay? It's a ready posture, and it's a confident posture. It's confident because there's no need to conceal the extremities of the body. The internal organs are out there for show. The genitals are out there for show. The throat is out there, bold. I'm certain for the most part these arms are not alongside crossed legs. The feet will be solid on the floor, okay? Perhaps quite broad on the floor, okay? Stern, sturdy. So that is the reasoning behind this posture, alright? There are sexual elements to this as the hands do direct the forearms do create an arrow pointing towards the genitals and as a man as a woman too highlights the dominance in the sense of saying i am female i am man and i am showing everything to the world right now because i am fearless i am confident the elbows act as weapons, enhancing an aggressive undertone to this behavior. As the elbows are dangerous, such as the knees, such as the fists, okay? As you saw the first photo I used, which was used in a meme, but showcases it perfectly. The people understand the behavior so it gets shared around. The first photo of the man at the sports game in that position had had this behavior performed with clenched fists, aggression, anger, frustration. I am bigger than I appear, so you must respect me, okay? Women can utilize this behavior in conversation with men in order to communicate better in the masculine space, to show that they won't be walked upon. Women in supervision and management positions, you will see enact this behavior. They will manifest this behavior naturally subconsciously while speaking to a subordinate to really emphasize that they are not scared purely because they are the female within this authoritarian role they can really do well in this position as for a subordinate man speaking to their manager or their boss you might see this manifest in them in order to compete 
and state I feel insecure to the degree where I feel I need to take up more space or actually you could consider it I am confident enough to square up in this manner to the boss and take up just as much space in communication in agreeance whether you like it or not I am forcing this upon you you must look at my groin I am not afraid of you which may be perceived as a good thing although the flared elbows come across as offensive aggressive in my personal opinion do you see this behavior do you act in this behavior when you see a parent scolding their child, you will see them, the parent, engage in this behaviour, produce this characteristic of nonverbal assault upon the child to say, I am the boss and you will listen to me. Not only am I already the parent, I am making myself bigger and more dominant. You see? When the man is going out with the woman dating, he may emphasize his masculinity, emphasize his V taper, his broad shoulders, and his tight hips, alongside making himself bigger generally by producing this pose. Now you tell me, is this a behaviour of insecurity or confidence? That's for you to decide, you have to look at the context as to when this behaviour appears. Right? Opening up one's chest is confident, fearless, dominant, expansive. This is a display of high confidence, or at least perceived high confidence from the outside world. Potentially hostile body language. Click subscribe for more information. I'm signing out, people. One love.